So now your planning team is put together. They start developing resource requirements. They must fully consider all of the required resources. Does your BCP require that you purchase and maintain redundant hardware? If so, you've got to have a budget for that. Consider all of the resources that you are likely to use in order to support the planning process. During the original planning phase, the main resource requirement is probably going to be time. Now you may decide that you're going to bring in outside consultants and have to pay them, but more likely than not, you're going to have to ask for time from different departments. Well, when you ask for time, that may affect their budget in a negative way. So again, there's a resource involvement there. Whenever you have completed the planning phase and you're ready to test, train, and then maintain the actual plan, it may require substantial equipment purchases. Again, you may need some consulting advice. You're going to need a lot of time, but that may be the place if you've decided you need fault-tolerant hardware, let's say. You may actually have to go out and buy some fairly substantial equipment to support that. When you implement the plan, now keep in mind that the idea behind this is to enforce business continuity. So implementing the plan means that your business has been interrupted. Something has happened that has stopped your business from operating and the plan kicks into implementation at that point and that means I'm really going to make this work. At that point your budgetary concerns are pretty much put at the top of the list and you'll need to know how much money you'll need to push the button and make the plan work.